Milan, could we cycles and uh, how this uh, affects the global warming and ice ages on the planet Earth? Rocks are layered. Have you ever thought why? Why rocks are layered? Really, why the rocks have layering? Layering is caused by several similar processes. For example, volcanism like these Deccan traps in India or earthquakes can create layers. And sedimentary rocks, which are the most dominant one on where we see visibly, are caused by the erosion and uh, uh, the position of the sediments, particles, and uh, rocks, and uh, you know, very fine material, which has eroded through the climate. But weathering is a climate, uh, cli um, climate affected process. The rain, the snow, you know, causes uh, layers of the rock formed by erosion. And when the layers of the rocks are formed, layers are formed, they can be compressed and formed as a rock. So every season we have a different rate of erosion because of the seasons are different, the rate of the precipitation. Seasons are created by the axis of the earth being tilted in its orbit around the sun. And uh, the angle of the sun on the earth creates winter and summer in different parts, the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. And these are governed by something related to astronomy. That is the earth orbit around the sun. Earth orbits the sun in a way that is not a circle. It's something like an um, oval. And it gets closer to the sun uh, and farther away, the rate of the energy received by the earth changes. But this orbit even changes gradually and the point earth will not come to the same point all the time another factor is the tilt of the earth axis which is also rotating like a tabletop so this tilt varies around the sun in a circle which we know in astronomy as precision and that is the reason the uh, pole of the earth is not the same all the time also this axis also have some slight wobbles and these slight wobbles also affect the climate in a way, because they change the axis and the amount of the energy we receive as sun. These three cycles are important. We see them in the aging of the rocks. When we do aging of the rocks by fossils, for example, like these visible micro fossils, bigger fossils, like the ones that you see in rock layers, or by pollens. The pollens are the uh, material that the plants disperse for you know uh, reproduction. They are the toughest material. They survive, but we can age the rocks precisely uh, because the reproduction of the plants and dispersion of the pollen are seasonal in the spring summer and winter they're different by that and through that we have discovered the ice ages on the planet earth have a um, periodic cycle periodic cycles of 11,000 22,000 40,000 90,000 or 100,000 and some bigger one 400,000 and these are all related to the uh, rate of the erosion sedimentation on the uh, earth, seasonal changes like the Sahara dust that we see in some, some geological layering. And the change in color can be just uh, related to the mix admixture with the Saharan dust and also other material that come into the sedimentation process and change the color of the rock. These cycles were originally were discovered by the Serbian scientist uh, Milotin Milanković. He was sent to prison during the First World War because he was a Serbian and the Germans don't like Serbs. And we know that during the Serbian War in the uh, 1990s, Germany was the first one who actually helped the disintegration and the mass murder of the uh, Yugoslavian people. Germans have a guilt, not only for the Jews, against the Serbs also. And uh, anyway, this Milankovic, uh, Milotin Milankovic uh, guy discovered these cycles by studying the pattern of the ice ages on the planet Earth and came to these several cycles of the change of the sedimentation due to the ice age weathering changes by the ice ages amount of the saharan dust changes so these cycles were visible to him uh, and to us through these uh, observations we know now these uh, cycles are important they create the layering the layering of the rocks that we see actually that is the reason the layers of the rock actually shape and form the way they are otherwise the all the rocks should look the same if just one season to the next season, there should not be any change. The change happens because melancholy cycles change the rate of the erosion and Saharan dust and other material mixed at mixture with them creates the rock layering.